Hey friends, welcome back to another Lead Code tutorial. If you are new here, my name is Anar and I'm a self-taught software developer that makes content to help you break into and grow in the tech industry. Today we will be solving Lead Code 226, Invert a Binary Tree. There will be a whiteboard component where I explain in detail exactly how the algorithm we're going to implement is going to work, and then there will be a coding component where we actually implement it. Before we get into that though, a gentle reminder to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future content. So in order to solve this problem, there's one specific thing that you need to understand clearly, and that's tree traversals. In our solution, we're going to be using depth first, post order traversal, and let me show you how that works. So with the depth first traversal, you actually traverse to the bottom of the tree to its leaves. A leaf is a node that doesn't have any children. The first time you actually process a node is when you've come to the bottom of the tree. In a depth first traversal, you recursively walk down the left nodes, and then when there's no more left nodes to walk down, you walk down the right nodes. Let me show you what that would look like. You start off at the root node, then you walk to the left node. From there, you once again walk to the left node. Then from this node, you try to traverse the left, but there's nothing there. Then you try to traverse the right, and again there's nothing there. What makes this a post-order traversal is that you operate on the node after traversing its left and right children. So in this case, after trying to traverse the left and right children of this node, you would actually perform some sort of computation on it. Once that's done, you pop back up to this node, and you go to its right child. Once on this node, you would try once again to go left, then you would try to go right, and then you would perform some sort of operation on this node. Then you pop back up to this node. Since this node's left and right children have both been traversed, you perform some operation on this node. Then you pop back up to this node. Since this node's left children have all been traversed, you go down the right node. From this node, you go down the left node. From this node, you once again try to go left, then you try to go right, and then you perform some operation. Then you pop back up to this node, and you go down to the right. At this point, you once again try to traverse the left, then you try to traverse the right. Since there's nothing there, you do some operation on this node. From here on, you pop back up to this node. And since both of its left and right children have been traversed, you perform some operation on this node. Now, finally, you pop back up to the root node again. And since all of its left and right children have been traversed, you finally perform some operation on this node. What the actual operation is, is fairly irrelevant. In this problem, we'll just be switching the left to the right and the right to the left. The part that you actually need to understand is the tree traversal, not the switching of left node to right node. Let's try to actually code this up now. The simplest way to do tree traversals is using recursion, so that's how we're going to do it here. Anytime you're traversing a tree recursively, you want to start with the case when you actually hit the bottom of the tree, and the left and right nodes are null or none. So we start off with if root is none, return none. What you return doesn't matter. The reason you need to return something is so the recursion stops when you reach the node that doesn't actually have any left or right children, instead of actually traversing into a none value and getting an error. Then we're gonna do our recursive case self.invert tree root.left self.invert tree root.right Since this is a post-order traversal, whatever operation we want to perform on the node is going to go after the two recursive calls. Just so you could see the tree get traversed, I'm just going to print the node. And then as you actually come back up the tree, you want to return the node you're on. If we give this a run, you could see the actual tree traversal happen. So the first thing we print is 1, which is this, because it, remember it goes left, left, then left, right, there's nothing there, then it performs the operation. Then you have 3, because it goes back up, and then 3, then 2, and so forth. I explained this on the whiteboard, so if you need to revisit that, go ahead and do so. 
So now the only thing left is to change the operation we do on the node. At the moment, we're just printing the node's value. What we want to do is swap that out with making the left node the right node and the right node the left node. This is fairly easy to do. You create a temporary variable with root.left, then you make root.left equal root.right, and then you make root.right equal temp. If we submit this, you see it completes. So again, the reversing part is very simple. It's the tree traversal that you need to understand. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like and drop any questions you have in the comments section. That'll be it for today and I'll see you in the next one.